We now go to the gentleman from Florida, Mr. Mica. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee. Um, the other side of the aisle would have you believe that uh, this is something uh, just Republicans are doing and we didn't give uh, Ms. Lerner a chance. The facts are that we brought Ms. Well, facts are, uh, pull up a little chart that IRS began targeting uh, conservative groups and with conservative sounding names uh, from March to April 2010, and Ms. Lerner was in charge of that particular agency and responsibility. Even Chairman Issa in June of 2010 alerted IRS. Um, it wasn't Republicans who uh, really helped launch some of the Inspector General uh, investigation uh, in February, we, and we heard uh, in previous comments a Democrat senator, seven of them, on February, in February of 2012 uh, wrote IRS. And the, the investigation actually started, and I penciled it in there, March, uh, a month later, the Inspector General began a review of this matter. In fact, we now find that even uh, Mr. Cummings, who had said uh, they had made certain contacts, uh, contacted IRS in August of 2012. Again, the, the question before us is a contempt against Lois Lerner. She was given the opportunity to come before us, and she came before us uh, the first time in May. Uh, that's less than a year ago, and she refused to cooperate and testify. We gave her another opportunity just uh, weeks ago to come back and to testify. In the meantime, we, we, we interviewed over 30 witnesses. Almost every one of them, and I'll put this in the record, uh, uh, almost every one of them pointed to Lois Lerner. She started this whole thing out. Will the, will the gentleman yield? I will not yield. Will the gentleman at make all. those interviews public. Uh, ge the gentleman's time is yeah. his. He's citing to evidence. The gentleman's, the, the gentleman's time is his. We'll have regular order. Uh -huh. The gentleman may continue. Uh -huh. And in fact, um, what she did is, is worthy of probably an Academy Award. She went bef before the Inspector General report was released uh, in May, and it was released. Uh, May 14th. On May 10th, she did her Broadway production. It was worthy of an Academy Award, saying uh, again uh, that uh, the line people in Cincinnati were responsible for misconduct. Uh, th these are the facts. In fact, when she said that, uh, one of the IRS uh, folks uh, uh, who heard it, one of uh, the folks uh, Cindy Thomas um, had said, and I, I repeated this before, Cincinnati wasn't publicly uh, thrown under the bus, but instead it was hit by a convoy of Mack trucks. That's what they said, uh, according to what uh, she tried to produce and divert attention from this. We have given th this individual every opportunity uh, to give us the truth. Everything points at her and she has refused uh, to cooperate. Finally, what is this all about? This is about one of the most fundamental abuses I have ever seen in, in my lifetime of trying to uh, skew an election. Uh, she tried to skew the election and probably was fairly successful in gagging <laughs> and also uh, hog-tying conservative groups in this country. Uh, she said in the beginning that uh, they, they uh, proposed, they uh, were in fact a uh, problem. That was her, her words, not my words. And she, uh, right up to the election, on the election day, we have an email, one of the ones we did get a hold of, that she opined uh, that it was important for Democrats to re retain control of the Senate. Uh, this was a political move to skew the 2012 elections. If the other side, imagine if the other side, this is about liberal groups, 
this had taken place, the howling would never end. Uh, this is a simple uh, procedure. She acted in contempt, and she must be held in contempt, and we must move forward. I thank the gentleman.